Hello everyone, it's Mr. B. In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at the future simple. Yes, John will visit his cousin on the way home. Will he visit his cousin today? He will not or he won't visit his cousin after school. So let's get started. First, we're going to take a look at the timeline. So we have the horizontal line that represents the past on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side of the vertical line is the future. So the vertical line represents now. So we will find the future will or the future simple in the future, of course. Now we're going to take a look at how to make an affirmative sentence. First you need the subject, then you need the helping verb, in this case is will. Then you need the base of the verb, then maybe the object, and then a time expression. Just like this example. I will visit my grandma after the lesson. I'll visit my grandma after the lesson. After the lesson is a time phrase. For a negative sentence, you need the subject, then you need the helping verb plus not, then you need the base of the verb, then maybe you need the object, and then maybe you need the time expression. He will not visit his grandma after the lesson. And finally, to make a question, you need the WH question word, maybe, so that would be how, what, where, how many. Then you need the helping verb. Then you need the subject. Then the base of the verb. And then anything else. So in our example, will you visit? So will will be your helping verb. You, your subject. And visit the base of the verb. Will you visit your grandma after the lesson? Please note that for a question you need to switch the order of words, so the subject is in second place, and the helping verb in first place. Now we'll take a look at the time expressions, adverbs of time or time phrases that we find with the future simple. You can have like after school, that's a, a time phrase in 2050, time phrase, next week, Time expression, tomorrow is an adverb of time, the day after tomorrow, in an hour, in the future, soon, eventually, later this evening, etc. So most importantly, when to use it? Well, the future simple is obviously used to describe one action happening in the future. Or rather, number one when there is no plan or decision to do something before we speak. We make the decision spontaneously, at the time of speaking. We frequently use the verb think with will. I think I will talk about the next point. When we want to make a prediction with no evidence. So, number two is prediction. And number three, for invitations. So, let's break it down and let's take a look at the three points with their examples. So we said, number one, we use will for spontaneous actions. So, like in this example, wait a minute, I'll get my phone to save your number. Okay, so you have your friend who wants to give you his new uh, phone number, and so you need to get your phone. So you say, wait a minute, I'll get my phone to save your number. So you will use will, it's spontaneous. At that moment, you decided to get your phone and save his number. So another example, with think. I think I'll watch the show you suggested tonight. So here again, we have I think, and so we need to use will. So here again, we have the verb to think. And because think is a decision made at the moment of speaking, we need to use will plus the base of the verb. So I think I'll watch the show you suggested tonight. So let's take a look at number two now. Predictions. It'll be sunny tomorrow. We should go to the beach. Again, you look at the forecast and you predict that tomorrow 
will be sunny. So you use will. Another example. Who do you think will win the next elections? Again, we use think with will. So in this case, is also a prediction because you're asking who will win the next elections. So number three is for invitations. And here you need to use will plus you usually because you are inviting somebody to do something. So will you come and visit me in Canada? So you're inviting the person to come and visit you. So for example, number two, will you please help me with these bags? Is spontaneous and is also an invitation to help with the bags. So now let's practice. Complete with the future simple tense. I think it's tomorrow. Rain. Number two, number three, and so on. You need to pause the video and then I will give you the key. So now that you're ready, let's look at the key. I think it will rain tomorrow. I think it'll rain tomorrow. Will you go to the movies tomorrow? She won't regret or she will not regret studying history after all. Will you travel in the summer? Number five. He will help you with your bags. He'll help you. Zoe will not translate her test. She knows the language quite well. Zoe won't translate. Again, when you write, use the whole word. When you speak instead, use the contracted form. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions about this lesson, please post your question under the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you liked the video lesson, please hit on the like button, please. And you may share the lesson with your friends. Have a great day and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.